Well, we're a musical theater company, which says very, a very small part of who we are. Uh, obviously, with a name like Kids Who Care, it's more than theater. What we do here is we produce great kids. So we're teaching them through the idea of an ensemble musical theater company how to produce great work and at the same time take care of each other. And also to produce something out in the world that changes thinking or at least encourages hopeful thinking. A kid who comes in thinking, oh, this could be kind of fun. I took swimming last month, now I'm gonna do this. They're here either because a parent sees something in the living room or the kid is dying to get in front of an audience. So somewhere in there, we can we maximize what happens to that child when they land here. Either they find out they are a great singer, their mother was right, or we give them an avenue to take what they're doing anyway in their living rooms and, and creating a professional venue for them. Well, the first time me and my mom went to go do a Kids Who Care show, we had a parent meeting. And my mom went there and she saw all of the different older kids. I was about seven years old. She saw all of these teenagers who were just professional and polite and just, you know, great kids, what she wanted me to be. And I think that's what, what attracted her to the company and why we stay. Kids Who Care has a really, really good leadership program. Just like before camp starts, we have a whole week dedicated straight to kid power training. And we learn about different aspects such as team building, uh, positive peer pressure, a bunch of aspects that it's really effective when you go to, like at my school, when I go to student council, knowing all the characteristics of a good leader. Kids Who Care is just like Deborah says, a mini corporation. And so if I go on to be in a corporation, or when I go on to be in a corporation, then uh, I will already have had previous experience. I'll know about how to run a board meeting, what was brainstorming, how to brainstorm different ideas, how to address questions, even if you don't agree with what someone says, how to address it appropriately. The summer has three different camps that are really exciting. The first camp is our June musical theater camp at TCU. And it is comprised of about 40 to 50 kids at this point. Hopefully it will grow. And that's the time that we do a classical musical theater piece. And it's our chance to give our kids the opportunity to work with a script where the characters are already worked out for you and just get that classical musical theater professional experience. At the same time that that's going on, we have a mini musical theater camp and that is for many people. We have um, 30 to 40 preschoolers ages 4 to 7, and they have the exact same experience that we have in July, but it's condensed down to two weeks, and they do a big production in the theater with all the lights and all the production that we have for everybody else. And in July, we have anywhere from 100 to sometimes 250 kids come from all around the world, Israel, Germany, Italy, Washington State, other parts of Texas, and of course Fort Worth. And they join together and we do an original production that has been written by kids that have worked with us in the past that has then been tweaked by professionals and some additions by professionals. The exciting thing about it is that our work is from a child's voice. It's what kids want to say said by kids instead of what adults think kids want to say said by adults. So if you were working in Garver before the break, you're going back to Garver and the dance rehearsal, we need to finish that song. So let's go to work, please. If you need your script to know words, you should take your script with you. Professional staff uh, finds us. It's very interesting because we're sort of a weird bird. We are not a traditional theater company. We're traditional in that we're very serious about our work and, and we train. The skill level uh, translates to any professional theater, but because we're a, a theater that adores kids, a staff who wants to do what we do usually knocks on our door and, uh, and says, what is this? This looks interesting. I first came to Kids Who Care in 1999, right after I graduated from TCU. And uh, there was actually an advertisement on the board at TCU for a dance teaching job here. And so I came in, it was my first job right after I graduated from college. I like the kids because of their energy and their excitement and their the commitment to the arts and just wanting to learn more about theater and more about dance, particularly for me. Everyone who comes in, whether they've been dancing for 10 years or two minutes, is thrilled to be there and just really excited about everything that they can learn. And for a teacher, that's amazing. I go to Butler University. Uh, I just finished my sophomore year this past year. 
I just got a job with Bruce Wood Dance Company and will be performing with them this upcoming season. you learn a lot of basic skills um, here at Kids Who Care that you can take with you. Um, there's just your basic, you know, stage directions, stage etiquette, um, how to handle yourself in the theater and in a professional venue I think you take with you no matter where you are or where you're working. Um, and me majoring in dance, um, I was working in the arts uh, every day, you know, for eight hours, so definitely the skills that I learned here and things about the theater and how to conduct yourself in a professional rehearsal, you know, I definitely use that. I personally, I'm not the best dancer in the world, so during the dance classes, I kind of make a fool of myself, but, but I still try them because, I mean, here you don't have to worry about looking bad when you're dancing because everybody's having fun and nobody cares. I first started like theater or arts type things in about seventh grade. Um, we had a drama club in school and we did a lot of improv and that's where I learned most of my stuff. To maybe other people it seems like a lot of work but when you're doing it you don't notice it because you're just having so much fun. All of the exchange students, some of them come going I'm doing theater, most of the exchange students get here and go now what? I came to Texas and I'm doing what? So it's usually a surprise to the kids from other countries, number one, how hard it is, that this is hard work, and also that it's going to be this incredible, powerful event in their lives. My name is Tommaso Belli and I'm from Italy. I'm the spirit of a, a guy that died a year ago because he had cancer and I'm a, the spirit in the tree. You might say you're What's the most fun thing here? All be all together. I have always a lot of fun. Maybe I can do, I can dance, but I dance with a smile. The reason I keep coming back here is because uh, I love kids' care, what they're doing and what their message is. I love the people. They are so important to me. They've changed my life. Uh, also, I like America very much. One of the pieces in the show, I. Uh, it's a song I wrote for Kids Who Care, and they decided to put it in the show. Tell me how can I thank you? I don't have enough words that will say all I feel in my heart. Leaving you. So we want to feel like a great Disney movie. But when I come out, I've laughed hard, I've cried a little bit, and I feel better. So it's the same sort of idea. You come to see a show, and, and for all ages, for kids and grandparents, and everybody sits together and comes away going, oh, okay, the world's okay. So we produce musical theater. We want you to feel good after you see what we do. 